Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yes, we are behind, but it's okay. I have tons of new videos coming for you guys. Uh, so anyways, for those of you guys returning, welcome back. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell so that you can be notified of the new videos coming up. I also want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that shop on our online store, we have tons of new products that have been restocked now. You're able to purchase them. A lot of our soaps, uh, for those of you guys that are uh, very enthusiastic about our soap line, uh, they go quick. Yes, they do. And it takes a while because I actually make every single of my products uh, from scratch. So um, we have just recently restocked your favorite. So you'll be able to find all of that online as well as candles that are specifically for specific things that you're wanting, whether it's love, whether it's money, whether it's protection, they have been ritualized and consecrated. They have been th uh, charged through ceremonial rites, um, so they are empowered. You basically, all you have to do is light. And also, our oils are back on stock, so you'll be able to find all of that on our online store, like I said. And uh, if you hit the description box below, you'll be able to find the link on there. If not, at the end of every single video, our link is on the on the video. So you'll be able to find that at the end of every single one of our videos. All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what we can see. What can we expect for the month of March 2022? Let's see. Spirits, please give us insight into Leo. What is unfolding for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2022? What can they expect? Oh, we got cards flying out, you guys. Give me one second. For some reason, a lot, a lot of the readings have been... Okay, so I'm not really feeling this energy. We have the page of swords, sorry, the princess of swords, uh, which technically is the page of swords. I'm going to put it back in. I don't feel it very strongly, so let's get back into it. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this month of March 2022? Give us communication with the element of air. Give us finances and career with the element of earth. Okay. Give us the challenge here for Leo's element of fire. Romance, relationships, and partnerships, element of water. And the general energy, spirits, energy. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more. Here we go. All right, let's get into it. So we have the nine of wands here that popped out. We'll get into that in a bit. General energy here is the tower. Very powerful type of energy. Um, for some of you guys, you guys are going to be experiencing in the month of March being challenged, but I don't see this in a negative. I see it as a extreme positive for a lot of you guys. You've been wanting or desiring, hoping, perhaps even praying for change, whether it's in your romance, whether it's in your career, whether it's in your finances, something that has had you fed up. Uh, for the past couple of weeks, even a couple of months, is coming to a conclusion. There is things that are going to be changing, and I feel for a lot of you guys, this could be career and finances. There are certain things that are going to be changing, and they're going to be changing rather drastically and rather quickly. For some of you guys, like I said, if it's finances and career, um, and you've been mistreated, or you feel like your hard work and determination is not being um, you know, acknowledged, or if you feel like people are lacking and they're not stepping up and a lot of people are relying on you, or they're putting a lot of weight on the responsibilities that are not of your own, uh, this could be management, this could be superiors, people that are above you. Um, I see that quickly changing. And the reason for it is because some roll, some heads might roll. Uh, so there may be some firing, there may be a change of management, there may be a change maybe even of location. Um, but again, like I said, I feel like it's very positive. I feel like this is uh, coming to a conclusion so that you can move forward um, and continue your growth. 
Now, when we're talking about communication, you have the nine of wands. So again, we go back to that of wanting and desiring for some type of change. There is stress here. You've dealt with it. Um, you've been dealing with it. And at this point, it's kind of like you throwing your hands up in the air and saying, I've had enough or I'm done or I'm not going to be dealing with this fuckery anymore. And I completely understand that energy. But again, with the tower, I feel like it's a positive thing because chine, uh, change, not change, <laughs> change is fi finally unfolding for you. Now, your next card here in regards to your finances and career, we have the Prince of Cups. So again, there is an offer that's coming through. For some of you guys, it could be an unexpected raise. For others of you, it could be an unexpected offer for a higher ranking position, perhaps something or a uh, department that you haven't really have much experience on or whatnot that you may be a little bit intimidated. Take it. Give yourself the opportunity to continue growing, Leo. Nothing can stop you. We all know that. When you are focused and determined, there's nothing you cannot accomplish. Prince of Cups is being receptive. It's finally being able to, um, you know, for people around you to realize the hard work and the effort that you've been putting, as well as, like I said, even stepping up, doing things that other people had to uh, or was their responsibility. So again, this is it's a final, finally it's coming or finally it's happening is what I'm hearing for you guys. Now, in regards to the challenge here is the Princess of Wands. Again, do not get intimidated. If you're being offered a new position, for some of you guys, it could be a position that comes through from a different source. It could be a different company. It could be an offer. Um, it could be a friend coming to you and letting you know, hey, they're, they're you know, hiring uh, for a specific position. Maybe it's something that you may be interested in. Take that opportunity. Page of Wands is always about setting out on a new journey, allowing yourself to be motivated and enthusiastic about that new journey, that new endeavor. And again, with the Princess of Cups here, a lot of communication coming through for you guys in regards to your finances, in regards to your career. I don't really see the Princess of Wands as a challenge other than the advice here would be for you guys to not be intimidated is what I'm hearing. So take on those opportunities. Now, when we're talking about love and romance, I do see the Ten of Cups here. So for some of you guys, there is emotional fulfillment or emotional stability that is going to be unfolding for you guys in the month of March. I'm hearing for some of you guys, if you're traveling or will be traveling, there may be some type of connection or some type of communication with a person um, that may be at the same location, but doesn't necessarily mean that that's where they live. As I do see a bit of distance here uh, in regards to this connection. However, we're speaking directly to those that are single. Um, for some of you guys, you may be traveling with family uh, when you meet this person. However, what they are saying here is it create a friendship before it begins uh, or goes into something physical or before, uh, you know, you, you don't rush into any type of relationship right now. Um, Leo, the reason why I say that is 10 of cups is emotional fulfillment and two pages indicates to me a lot of movement or momentum in that aspect. So you may have a lot of opportunities that start to show up. If you haven't felt like you've been passionate or excited about, you know, dating, um, I feel that people are definitely going to be sparking your interest and there are choices to be made here. So definitely a good time to date, to put yourself out there. Don't rush into relationships. I don't want you to end up with someone that's not right for you. You have time and you have choices. So best of luck to you guys. I wish you guys the very best. Again, like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.